Hey guys, it's time for another Dollar Tree Christmas DIY. I picked up this merry and bright sign from the Dollar Tree and honestly I wasn't really sure how I was gonna use it. I thought that maybe I would go ahead and just paint the word merry and use some glitter to make the bright actually be bright. And so that's kind of what I started with. So to make sure that the paint wasn't going to bleed into the bright portion of the sign, I used tape to kind of create a little barrier. And so that's what I'm doing here. I found it was easier to lay the tape down and draw a little line and cut it rather than try to trim it on the sign itself. And then after I kind of did that, I used a wood stain and some acrylic paint and just tried to figure out what type of red I wanted for the word Mary. And I ended up mixing a little bit of black acrylic paint with some red acry acrylic paint. Uh, and I found that that kind of gave me the color that I was looking for. So then I went ahead and painted the AND symbol white. As you're going to see in a little bit, I outline the AND symbol in black because I wanted it to pop from the fabric backing that I was going to then place behind the words. And honestly, I didn't really like how this looked, and so I ended up just painting the AND symbol black later on. Then I went ahead and used Mod Podge to cover the word bright and then I sprinkled on some glitter. And you're going to see later on again I changed my mind and realized that I should have painted the word bright in white first because there was this kind of brown tint behind the glitter that I really did not like. So here you see I painted the symbol and and you can kind of tell that the background of the word bright is brown here. So I went ahead and used acrylic paint to go ahead and paint on top of the, all my glitter, which I figured would kind of give it more of a snow look. And I had a little bit of glitter left over, so I went over this white acrylic paint a couple more times with some Mod Podge and glitter to give it its final look. This process did take a couple of days because I could really only work on this while my daughter was sleeping. Once I was happy with the amount of glitter that was on the word bright, I did one last layer of Mod Podge and let that dry. Then I went ahead and put Mod Podge on the back of the sign. I made sure that every part of the sign was covered in Mod Podge, and then I went and placed it on the fabric and weighted it down with a few of the objects I had around my place. Then I went ahead after it dried and put Mod Podge on the back to fully secure the sign to the fabric. Then I used this blade that I got from the Dollar Tree to go ahead and trim out my sign. I wasn't sure if I wanted all of the open space under the, underneath the word bright to show the fabric, but I went ahead and just used fabric in all of the places that weren't open to the outside of the sign, if that makes any sense. Then I went ahead and used the Tower Block Game from the Dollar Tree and glued three little pieces together 
in tons of bunches and then I alternated them horizontal and vertical and created this little background. I didn't want to feel like I was wasting pieces so I only used enough so that the sign would cover an empty hole. I figured that if I wanted to hang the sign without using a string, I could use this extra little space between the fabric and the wall to have the nail holding up the sign. I then broke down another pick that I got from the Dollar Tree and glued it to the top and the side. It took me a little while to figure out exactly how I liked it, but once I settled on it, I'm really happy with the final product. And I forgot to mention that I used some of my Martha Stewart wood stain that I already had on hand from a previous craft to go ahead and stain the wood pieces. But you can always use acrylic paint that they sell at the Dollar Tree or just leave the wood by itself. It looks fine that way too. I did my final touch by putting on a little bit of twine so that I could hang this up. I liked the idea of having it uh, hang with some twine, but then I also knew that if I didn't want the twine showing, I could always hide that as well. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and we will see you next time. to the end of the video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, you may just want to because we want to give you a $10 Starbucks gift card. But first, two things need to happen. We are obviously new YouTubers and we would love to reach our current goal of 500 subscribers. So the first thing that needs to happen is we need to reach that 500th subscriber. We also want to encourage you guys to comment something that you liked down below using the hashtag GetLBL to 500. So once we get at least 50 comments somewhere in our channel using that hashtag, we will go ahead and post a video with the Starbucks card information. So you want to make sure that you are subscribed and click that notification bell so you can be the first person to see that video. If you didn't know already, my name is Emily from Lima Bean Living. Welcome, we are so happy to have you. We post videos every Monday and Friday on a variety of content, lifestyle, cooking, cleaning, military life, DIYs, encouraging mathematical development in children, and so much more. Thank you so much again for watching and until next time.